a sweet treat and a product of slavery. Sensual Pleasure, Capitalism and Economics, Dorothe Emmerger's third novel Out of the Sugar Factory covers a lot of ground. Sugar has always interested me as a material. For many, I would say it's historically been seen as an indulgence, something that you nibble on and give in to, something you crave. Yet, at the same time, it was produced on sugar plantations under murderous conditions. Elmaga explores the connection between covetousness and European colonialism. She travels through time, tracing biographies from Karl Marx to mystic Teresa von Avila to the first Swiss lotto millionaire. What links them? A hunger and the burning desire to transcend boundaries. This wanting, this desire that I found in all of the characters in one way or another was something I wanted to question. How does that develop? How is it shaped? How do we learn it? In her book, everything is interrelated. New connections are always being made, yet there's no real plot. Elmica says she can't and doesn't want to write novels that explain the world. Instead, she aims to make its fissures and fault lines visible. Because that comes much closer to my understanding of things. I don't expect writing to bring me clarity and comprehension, but rather confusion and food for thought. Dorothe Elmaga keeps coming up with new questions instead of answering them. Her fragmentary text is at once enticing and sobering.